Give me some air and you still see the steam rolling out at the base of the windshield of the 18 of Kyle Busch. Is he going to get shuffled out of the way? Here comes the 31 of James Busher up the middle. I don't know if there's any room, but they're there. There trouble. they go. Problems as they go through the trial, but Austin Dillon is caught up in it. The 31 of Busher is caught up in That's it. That's the rest of the field. Yeah, they're right all there. in it. That's they're all done. in it. There's only two guys left running. The two that made it through, Elliot Sadler, Michael Waltrip. Take a look at the cars, excuse me, trucks that are still under their own power. Elliot Sadler, Michael Waltrip, Miguel Paluto. Chris Fontaine in the 84. How about involved? Austin Dillon? Look at all the yeah. damage on that three truck of Austin Dillon's. There was some heavy, heavy, heavy contact. The 18 has got damage and looks like a steam engine. Todd Bodine Todd, this is his second to climb out. His second go around. He said, I guess that about do it right there, boys. Brad Sweet. Sweet, great run going. That great clips Chevrolet. Parker Kligerman running the 29. That's such a good run going. There's the 84 of Chris Fontaine. I was wondering if he was able to get through. He was not. What a great job, Chris Fontaine. Kyle Busch almost pushed him to the lead. Timothy Peters, that's he was the fourth truck in line. There's Ricky Carmichael. You see the damage on Ricky Carmichael's truck. And you know, I believe if the 18 hadn't have gotten hot, it started this? blowing Speaking steam of out. Hot, Jennifer Joe Cobb pulls up next to Kyle Busch and voices her displeasure. Mm, not sure. I didn't have to see all the replays to see what that's all about. Pappas also pulls up. Chris Fontaine out of his truck. Todd Bodine out of his truck. Let's James Busher jumps to the inside. Let's see what. Let's see who makes contact first. James Bush is good. They just start bouncing around back in there. It was really Brad Sweet in the 32 truck. Maybe the 32 got hooked by the 51 truck. Red that's flag what is it, out. That's kind of what it looked like. They just started moving around. They were wobbling as they were going down toward turn one there. It's real truck gets really free coming through the trial over here, especially when you get them three wide like that. It was three wide in front of where the truck that got a little bit. Here's another look now. Watch. A little bit sideways. Watch, the th watch behind the blue truck. Well, who, that's the 32 behind the blue truck. Looks like he may have got pushed from behind, and that got him into the truck on the inside. I believe that, is that black, Eric Almarola, maybe black, the 51 yeah, truck. That black truck has uh, Almarola. Parker Kligerman. Yeah, Alm Almarola got it going. I think he got in the back of Brad Sweet, possibly. Yeah. And then turned him sideways. And buddy, when he did. Hmm. There's Hello. another view. Hello. Watch behind the blue truck now. Watch behind the blue truck. He'll catch the 29 of Parker Kligerman. I'm not, I don't think right. the 51 was into the back no. of a DW. It almost looked like the 32 and the 18 made some contact. Blocks the track and nobody had anywhere to go. Ricky Carmichael did a nice job going down through the grass to avoid that. About a half a million dollar junkyard right mm -hmm. there. Let's if we just keep looking at this. We'll figure it out. The 31 is going to squeeze in right here and this is what starts to create the uh, commotion. Looking looking. Yeah, here we're going to see Busher start wobbling there a little bit. A little, little bit of movement, a little bit of movement. What's the, uh, then the, then the, the maybe the 93 of Colwood may have got into Brad Sweet possibly yeah. right into his left rear corner. How about Miguel Paluta, that white truck avoiding that's going to end through. up in the third spot right when there. they get to turn one. But, but Phil, you know, when they start moving around like that, all that movement, you really don't have control of your truck. You talked about it at the very opening of the show. That's you run just as fast on that portion of the racetrack. It's only banked 18 degrees. The things really get free and light coming through there. Three wide here. We're gonna make it three wide. Hold your line up top. Reckon. Yeah, that lick, whoever was under the 31 got into the 31 and I think may have started that. And and we think it may have been. Cole Whip. There's Timothy Peters. He's going to be another one of the guys, the fortunate ones that gets through this. If you 
to get through this year, Houdini. That's all I know. Look at this. How are you going to get through here? How are you going to get through here? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, let's look at this real close now. Well, that, this, these two guys, these guys right here, and maybe this, maybe this is where it came from. Two black trucks down on the inside. Now let's see where they go. Thirty-one. He squeezes the twenty-nine down a little bit. There's the thirty-two. He starts wiggling. He started wiggling. The fifty-one of Almirola did not get in the back of that thirty-two. He just got got just a little started. bit. Got a bit loose, yeah. like you talked yeah. about, turned sideways and got into the truck on the inside. Clipped him and turned him right into the 31. Look at enough looks at this thing. We'll figure it all out <laughs> eventually. Oh, my. Ooh, look at man. that at real time. Ah. That was a hard hit by Parker Kligerman. And I'm not sure, Phil, but uh, down in there, there may not be any safer barrier. I think that's right in a part of the racetrack where they don't have just safer before, barrier. Just before it starts mm -hmm. back for the corner. Yeah, they had just gone through the There's trial. a start finish line right there. Just past that. Now they, there was right some safer the barrier they, they, there. They caught yeah, some of it right at the end of the safer barrier. Yeah. You can see if you look on the outside, you'll see those blocks of styrofoam. Yep. Yeah. yeah, right just, he had it, caught it right on the end. Piece of sheet metal flying Man, through the air and, and flying everywhere. Thank goodness that it landed in the infield. What an amazing job, though, by Miguel, Miguel Paluto to avoid this, as well as Timothy Peters. And those essentially were the only four trucks to emerge unscathed. You see the damage to a lot of the trucks that are stop, stopped here because we're under a red flag condition. Can you believe the way the seas parted for that 17, though? I mean, he was. How could he get through that whole mess? He drove through the whole thing and didn't hit anybody. A lot of damaged race trucks. I, mean, Final truck so if I shut it off, it'll fire back up. Kyle Busch saying, I don't want to shut it off. Trucks that looked so good earlier today. Now, messed up.